World Politics Roundup. In part reflections about Antony Ant, Ant, Blinken's visit to China. So basically, uh, before we begin with that discussion, we've personally come to a bizarre realization. It's just an inclination that you have these, uh, you know, basically liberal democracies, but the way I see it, the prerogatives of the of the top leadership doesn't necessarily align with the prerogatives of the people and I, I think I tend to think this might cut across different different nations different countries as well um, basically the way I see it so say the American people elect um, top leaders right but say if they're more interested in maintaining the machinery to keep the liberal so-called liberal world order humming along where you have this heated antagonistic um you know antagonism of these world elites of of different countries but where you have a situation where the top elites might have very little in common with the actual day-to-day -day interest of their own people so for example if, if you go out to rural places and rural parts of you know countries and stuff like that you know you, you look at what the top leaders are saying they don't really align with with the people so basically the it's just the odd realization that some you can have a situation where you have a war between the leaders of nations but their their own people really are sort of disconnected so basically the way i see it even if there's for example um enemy competition between the likes of the chinese regime or the uh biden administration it's there's really a disconnect it's not really a conflict between the people it's just you you have top leaders representing different sets of core interests and these core interests collide so it's almost like you have you have the brass waging a war but the regular people aren't are, are sort of disconnected from it so basically uh, reflecting on anthony blinken's visit so basically um the way i see it he's he tried to cajole or even outright threaten China to the effect that if you if you don't stop doing what we want you to stop doing with Russia, we're gonna take action against you. You know, basically leveraging potential. I, I think I think he's leveraging the threat of sanctions, or you know, you know, other you know, other elements of the diplomatic toolkit. But basically, um, the way I see it. So, for example, if it's about that strategic interest, I I think. The writings on the wall for russia and china if they weren't wholesale dedicated to it before i, th I think the likes of russia and china are jointly hell-bent on overthrowing the american-led liberal world order and the the interesting thing is i i think it's not even it's not a campaign against the american people they're tr they're trying to get out of what they see as the prison and shackles of the threat of american sanctions where you have this a top leadership that that's 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 going around and maintaining this machinery for some liberal world order um so the likes of china don't like to be told by the likes of anthony blinken what how they should deal with russia they they see it as you know you know interfering with the relationships of sovereign countries so i, th I think what china russia that the way they view the world they, they want to have a world where where you're not uh constrained or dominated by one per, you know any one particular country coming around telling you who you can trade with who you can deal with um if you don't if you don't if you do something we don't like that we don't like we're going to sanction you I, I think they're trying to in that sense i think they're trying to overthrow the liberal world order but it's are, are is is this a is this a campaign a war against ordinary americans that that's absolutely ridiculous so 
So, so basically, in these countries, you have, and I, and I think this applies to the United States. Basically, the you have, it, it it's like it's so okay. You say it's a democracy, but you have all the parts, right? Then the king, you have the the top leadership. Their their prerogatives for whatever world order, domination, dominion, vis-a-vis -vis the kings that rule the likes of China and Russia. It's it's a chess game between kings that has nothing to do with someone in the rural central United States. It has nothing to do with the farmers who's tending to their sheep and chickens and goats in Sichuan province. So basically, it's a high-level strategic it's a high-level strategic diplomatic warfare between the elites who may have very little in common with the actual prerogatives of the people on the ground. But nonetheless, it is, it is a very interesting competition that, that you see that's playing out in the world right now.